Hello guys. Hi, hello. Please introduce yourself. Okay, uh, I come from Paris, France, and uh, it's winter there, so I am really happy to, to be here with my friend to, to ride because it, it's summer. And uh, hi, I'm Lucas, I'm from France as well, like uh, I'm a more like a boat rider usually, but I came here for training the under cable because uh, well, it's new for me and it's pretty cool, so I'm just trying to get better at it. Okay, you do extreme uh, sport, right? You're in extreme. Why? Oh, I think because we, we love it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, I started as a gymnast when I was younger and uh, no, I just tried it when I was like 15 or 14. And I just liked it, so I don't know. It's just cool. How many years are you in wakeboarding? Oh, I think seven years, but I come from snowboards. So it was really, really funny and just like the same. Yeah. I'm younger than him, but I've been in a wakeboarding for 20 years now. <laughs> so, you the one who staying in the podium, right? What do you feel when you go to the podium and got all these rewards? Oh, I think it's uh, a pleasure because uh, we can make photo to Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is the goal. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, I think, yeah, it's like really cool when you finally get what you've been working for for so long because like it's a real commitment to do all of this and uh, it's a lot of sacrifice so yeah, I know, it's like really cool to finally what, get what you want and what you've been working for What you can say to the people who just begin and do it boring to the children because this is quite extreme, quite dangerous and you're professionals in this sport uh, Just a pleasure yeah, you know, I think it's not really dangerous like uh, mountain or surfing in the ocean. I think it's really safe if you do good. Yeah, and take take fun. Yeah, they need to yeah really think about the fun part. Like they shouldn't think about like the professional part and making money and everything. Usually, it won't won't turn out good. Just have fun on the water and see what it goes. Very good. Is it possible to combine making money and do sport and go to the podium? or you need to just choose something one you know in my real life i am real estate so i think you can work and take pleasure in your sports not for not make money with sports yeah like yeah you shouldn't focus on making money with it if it happens it's cool and then you can make your your like your how do you say your passion like a real job but if you focus on that you you're gonna be frustrated if it doesn't happen so just give it a try and if it works it's good but if it doesn't well like life continues how long you stay on the water during your normal life i think maybe two or three hours on the day yeah something like that saying yeah. see guys it's possible to be a champion and uh, to be good in the job also i know that you are very good in other sports you said snowboarding plus horses right yeah 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 well, I used to be gymnast, but yeah, like doing a lot of different sports. I guess it's also good because if you only only do the same thing all the time, I think you just get bored of it and you lose you you forget how fun it could be. So it's good to do something else. What is your lifestyle? Do sport, working, and traveling, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. How many countries in your pocket? I don't know. Okay. Say, uh, how many different countries? I'd say like wow. more than thirty. I'd say. Yeah, maybe the same. Okay, this is a lot of money. Who's sponsoring you? Oh, I work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, our sponsor doesn't give us much money. It's more like equipment and everything. We have a, yeah. we have we're really lucky in France because the federation actually pays for all the competition when we're going for European worlds and some training training camps. So yeah, I think I think we just like we're really lucky that our government is really helpful and they uh, give us the opportunity to travel around the world and then some of our sponsors like me I get protest worldwide and uh, some and they met with like a brand for sunglasses help me a little bit but not much money it's more about equipment what is the best country which you visited and where you would like to go to retirement oh. I, I think uh, all the country uh, I did uh, are cool because I come back with a new spirit so I think all country uh, are really good yeah, Phuket, obviously. The yeah, best place to go. Phuket is really cool. <laughs> okay, how long you visited Phuket now and uh, how many times? Well, I've been to Phuket two times. This time we're here for two weeks. And uh, I've been to Thailand quite a few times, like especially in Bangkok. 
but yeah, like I think we're gonna come back. It's a really nice place to ride during the summer, the winter. I mean, what about this September? Are you come back for worlds? I think I hope. Yeah, I hope. I mean, he's a national cable team. I'm not, so <laughs> I'm yeah. not sure I'm gonna be there. But I'll try to qualify. So we see Raman in uh, Bangkok in Thai Wake Park. There will be held worlds and. What about food? What food you prefer? Because uh, you're the guy who do sport and you maybe pay attention to the to your body, right? Yeah. Because you need to take care about you. Well, I'm vegetarian, so uh, <laughs> here I gotta, I gotta say I'm, I'm mostly eating vegetables, rice and noodles, basically. But well, I don't know, like I'm a really big fan of cheese, so it's hard to be like all healthy all the time. But yeah, I think we just trying not to eat I don't know, too much, too much fat and we try to eat organic as much as possible. Otherwise we can, I mean, we're getting old now, we're like over 30, so I mean, we can feel our body getting old and it's getting harder and harder, so we kind of make it pay attention to the fuel we put inside, I guess. So to be a borer, it means uh, to do a healthy lifestyle, right? Then wake up earlier. Mm -hmm. This is about you or not? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, in Paris <laughs> I make a lot of party, so... <laughs> but in Thailand, yeah, it's LC life. Yeah, but yeah. But not in Paris. We've been waking up, like, since we're here, we've been waking up at 6.37 every morning, like, getting prepared, coming here in the morning and riding all day. So, yeah, it's not about party much when, when we're training. And why you are training now? Because you are preparing to the next season or just for fun? Oh, I think what was. Yeah, for fun. It's the first, but uh, we can prepare something with that. So for fun. Yeah, like I mean, the good thing about Thailand and about Bukek is that you can train in good condition, and as well you can do and discover a lot of new things. So it's really good destination for wakeboarding, like wakeboarding for three, four days, and when the body's out, going for traveling and uh, tourist stuff. What you can say to the guys who look at you and wanna be like you? What you can say to them, because sometimes uh, I know that the children, they yeah. cannot come to you and say, hi, yeah, well, and can, can you teach me or, or something? We, 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 we saw that, so if, if I see that, uh, you are welcome, and uh, I take your hand and uh, we can do double together, I can give you all my tips, because it's like that, how uh, the sport will grow up. It's how the sport going to grow up. So we, we have to give our tips for the children yeah like you shouldn't be shy like just come over like it's with pleasure we're gonna help you guys so guys uh see you in bangkok and i hope you will come to us Liu.